The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is a game about adventure. The game features a huge open world to explore filled with a variety of things to do, but how does it stand apart in an industry full of open world games? That's what we're here to discuss. The very first thing I noticed in Breath of the Wild was how much inspiration it seemed to take from the very first Legend of Zelda game, being very open-ended as to what you could do. From the beginning of the game, you're presented with the entire world that entices you to explore and find all the secrets you can. Breath of the Wild is truly a game about the world that you're exploring, with a heavy focus on nature. Hyrule, or rather what remains of it, has been largely taken back by nature. Sure, there are many villages and populated areas sprinkled around, but the majority of the world is made up of plains, streams, forests, and otherwise natural structures filled with tall grass, plant, and animal life. That's not to say you won't see a variety of locations, however. From the volcanic Death Mountain to the waterfalls of Zora's Domain, Breath of the Wild is a game that isn't short on varied scenery. As I've mentioned in previous videos, Hyrule and Breath of the Wild is long past its prime, with large parts of the world being left in ruins. This is unfortunate for the citizens of Hyrule, but a great place for an adventure game. Who knows what could be hidden in the nooks and crannies of the farthest corners of Hyrule. As you begin playing the game, it makes sure to show off the massive world available to you, the player. The silhouettes in the mountains and the far distance that you can explore, a playground for you to grow strong enough to finally take down what might be one of the most destructive interpretations of the series' antagonist, Ganon. The same antagonist that left much of the kingdom in ruins in the first place. It's the growth of you as a player that's one of the most appealing parts of the game. You start with next to nothing, but you slowly begin to gather new gear, weapons, food, and abilities. It's this gradual progression and feeling of getting stronger as you go along that makes an adventure game staple, and a staple of the Zelda series. Although Breath of the Wild does deviate quite a bit from the formula that was established in games like A Link to the Past and Ocarina of Time, it does retain the core elements that make it a Zelda game. You are Link. You are the young man faced with the monumental task. And you have all the time you need to become the hero the kingdom needs. You have the freedom to go where you want, when you want, much more so than many of the other games in the series. It's the ability to explore a genuinely interesting world filled to the brim with materials, treasure, and interesting places to see that makes Breath of the Wild such a good adventure game. Breath of the Wild does have its flaws, but it handled going back to the roots of the Zelda series and modernizing it so well that it deserves the praise that it gets in that regard. Breath of the Wild is something of a new beginning for the series, and I'm excited to see what the future has in store.